Hello. Welcome to Lori's Classroom Stories and Crochet. Hi there, it's Lori, and I'm here with a quick family story. So my sister is having surgery tomorrow. I'm headed up to see her in Oregon next week um, to help her with appointments and everything afterwards because uh, her husband can't take very many days off at the moment. Anyway, this story is about her husband. So my sister had been doing some online dating. Um, she did that before I did. Both of us met our our husbands um, through online dating. Hers was a different platform. Anyway, she had had some really interesting scammy scammersons. And so it, it was always really obvious. And so we would write back really funny, ridiculous emails. Anyway, so she got this email from her now husband. And she's like, hmm, this guy's interesting. I want to see if he is who he says he is. I want to make sure he's legit before I, you know, try to actually meet in person. So she knew where he worked. And my sister and I don't look that much alike, especially not in pictures. Um, and especially, gosh, how long ago was that? 15 years ago? Something like that. We just didn't look that similar. As we've gotten older, we, we look a lot more similar. We barely looked related when we were little kids, um, but more and more we do. But at the time, we didn't look anything alike, um, especially because I think I had, I had really short hair, I think. Anyway, um, so I went and did some recon, and he knows this story. So I don't know that he'll watch this video, but he knows this story. So I, um, yeah, I stalked him at his work and said, yeah, he's exactly who he says he is. He, you know, he looks nice enough. <laughs> he's, you know, uh, so yeah, why don't you go ahead and, and meet him? And so <laughs> anyway, they, uh, they hit it off. They are wildly different than one another, but, um, in, in, a, in I think that maybe makes them work so well together. But anyway, he's he's really hard worker, which is a really big deal um, to, to our family. That's a big family value. Uh, anyway, so yeah, they met on, I want to say Yahoo Personals. That's how long ago this was. So maybe more than 15 years. It's been a long time. Um, anyway. I'm here for a couple reasons. Um, this video, I, I'm saying that her surgery is tomorrow, but this won't actually post until I'm already in Oregon, just because I, that way I have something posted. I, I'm, I really do have a goal of trying to do a once a week video. It's just, I'm not very successful. But what I want to start with is Armchair Chef Lori back in June um, did her mystery yarn challenge in a very different format. And one of the things that we were making was people had the option of making the crochet chicken or it was really a crochet bird by um, cinnamon stitches. I will attach that uh, tutorial link um, below. And so the, um, the crochet chickens or birds, everyone um, made one. I do have a video. You can, you can look at my chicken if you want to see but then Lori, the armchair chef, um, she said, well, let's do, my cat is doing that to the computer. So sorry about the movement in the video. He is using the um, corner of my computer as a scratch pad right now. You'll probably see his face here any moment. Anyway, so the, um, everybody made these chickens and then we could join the, the great chicken swap. So I got my chicken and it came a little later. And so I think she was felt bad and sent me some yarn too. So I'm going to talk about the chicken. The chicken is from Shannon from another yarn. Honestly, we probably should have gotten together and have lunch to get this very cute chicken. Um, so this is the chicken. I love the yarn she picked because it has these little tufts that very much look like feathers. 
I think this might be similar to the yarn that Cinnamon Stitches used in her tutorial. Um, my granddaughter, I was going to record this at my daughter's last night, but um, it just didn't happen. Anyway, my granddaughter actually tried to steal this, um, so it will be going back to her. So Shannon, the chicken, will have a home with a two-year-old um, who loves birds and bugs and dinosaurs. Those are her favorite things. And that noise you're hearing in the back is the same cat who was scratching on my computer is now chewing on a plastic bag. He's obsessed with chewing on plastic bags. It drives me crazy. Um, I have to make sure he doesn't actually consume any of it. That's more why it drives me crazy. And it's an annoying sound. Anyway, so the chicken is going to my granddaughter. She was very cute. Uh, this is more of a bluebird, right? Um, mine looked a little more like a chicken. I made the head a little taller or kind of gave it more of a neck. Um, but anyway, so we'll just have to make sure she doesn't let her uh, five, almost six month old um, brother try to eat the safety eyes. I'm sure, I'm sure she won't. She probably won't share a toy like this with him. She barely shares, um, there's certain dinosaur toys she won't share with him. There's other things she's great at sharing with him, but some of her dinosaurs are very special to her. This little girl who again is two and a half years old can tell me which dinosaur is which like she'll go she'll point to something called tot tots which is triceratops um t-rex obviously she says it but yeah anyway i think she said alice ali aliosaurus or one of those she says pterodactyl or pretty close there you know what she's saying anyway it cracks me up so here's what i've been doing oh the yarn, the yarn that she gave me is gorgeous. Um, so this is a three weight and it's a navy blue. I don't know in my lighting, it probably looks black, but with pink and yellow and blue speckles, it's a, I believe it's a wool blend. It feels like a wool blend. Yeah. 56% mercerized wool, 44% polyester. It's Voyager Yarn Company, Coronado. It's a lightweight three, use a four millimeter crochet hook. I do like four millimeter. Um, I haven't decided, I have some ideas, but I haven't decided what I want to do with this yet. So she gave me two balls of this. Like I said, she didn't need to do this. I appreciate um, that she did that because it was, I was worried that mine got lost in the mail, but um, she did that and that was really nice of her. So there's the, um, those and then this one is so um so soft this to me looks like it would just make the nicest hat nicest warm hat this is called malo may m-a-y-l-o-l-e i think that's what that says euro baby um i'm trying to see if there's a colorway on here now nope. color seven zero seven uh knitting fever anyway this is 100 percent polyester which is funny because it kind of has the feel like it could be part wool but it's not um it's a three weight again and 262 yards how much was in this i forgot to say that in this one there were 215 yards so there's 430 yards of this. I, I probably wouldn't put these together. Um, they have very different vibes. I have some denim looking yarn that's kind of white and blue mix that I think the two together would look really incredible. And they're the same weight yarn. So that would be perfect. Um, I mean, they, they feel the same. You know how weights of yarns can vary. So it's the blue, the blue yarn is that you can kind of see that it's blue there. I'm sorry. It looks so black. It's just the yellow lighting I have. That's for, to help my eyes. Anyway, that's, uh, that's the extra prize that she gave me, which I super appreciate. Um, on the live the other night, I mentioned that I was making care bear. It's already done. 
and he came out so cute. So this will be heading to Belfast here soon. I was actually surprised my granddaughter didn't try to steal this. No, she definitely only wanted the bird. She didn't care about the Care Bear. <laughs> I'm like, all right, all right, the bird you get. This I couldn't have given to her and I would have had to made another one. However, it was insanely fast. If you've watched me at all, you know how long I took to do the dragon forever. This guy, I started him or her or them, whatever. Um, what day was that? Last Thursday, last Wednesday. So less than a week ago. And I certainly, I probably put at the very most 10 hours in. And honestly, a lot of it was trying to figure out what to do with this because I needed a different belly. Oh, I remember I was going to do some outlining. Now that I'm looking at this again, I need to go in and do that. Um, I was trying to figure out how to, how to do this belly. This yarn is some yarn I got in a mystery bag, uh, maybe a Santa sack. A couple years ago, I haven't gotten any mystery yarn bags in a while. I get mystery, if I get mystery yarn, I like to get it from Lori the Armchair Chef when she has it because I love it. But this was nice and thin. This is like, I'm going to say, it could be a one weight or two weight. It was really easy. I worked with a 2.25 hook, which is not my typical, but it made it nice and tiny. Well, this yarn that I used, I used the 2.25, but the eye is kind of big. I, it's fine. It's whatever. But that yarn was this, which I did get from a mystery yarn bag quite a while ago. And this has some wool content to it because um, it likes to, because Colorado is so dry, it likes to pull apart. Um, but here, I'll show you. If I pull too hard, it'll just do that. So I had to be really careful, and that was part of the trick of the 2.25. I had to be really careful with it. But it was, in my opinion, it was such a good color for that mouth and for the eye. It's just, even though I used the same size hook because the yarn is a little bit thicker, this eye is so big. I will link, um, this is a PDF pattern you can get for free. Um, this is a PDF pattern. This is a YouTube pattern. I used the same one for both stars, even though, like I said, just because they were, this yarn was supposed to be on like a 2.25 hook or so. But anyway, everything, and I did do the heart on the feet, but I think, I don't know, I think that blue yarn, the darker blue yarn was just a little bit thicker, and so they pretty much are the whole feet. But there's the Care Bear, came out so super cute and so happy with it. And this is the project I'm working on right now. I don't know if you've seen the door stops with the squished frog. Um, I'll put the actual link for that. Uh, you slide it under your door and it looks like the frog is squished under the door. But it's really a door stop. So I had a friend that asked me if I could make one, but as a bee. So I will link the pattern for the bee that I did. And so I just made it. I followed the pattern and then I made it flat and then I made it loop out again I did the front and back loops to make it get to the size I needed again um, I stopped here on purpose I could have waited to film until I was finished but I wanted to show you what I did so that this would have some weight in it so I put because obviously if I put that Paul that type of polyfill the little crystals in there it would just come out of the holes. So I saved little Ziplocs um, from stuff I order or packaging or whatever and I put the beads in there. That way like the t this has some weight it has one of those in it and then the head will have that in it. That way it like stays and it's not just sliding around it has some weight in it without having to worry about it coming through the um, I kind of sold sewed some of the polyfill in there. That's kind of funny. Anyway, when I was doing the eyes. Um, but I will link the pattern to the bee, but then also that frog pattern because the frog is really funny. But he wanted to be... Um, I haven't decided... Uh, 
yeah, I'll ask opinions. Although, I'll ask opinions. Actually, I'll just ask his opinion. Well, I'll throw it out on here. Um, I was thinking of doing the wings right here. Um, so they would actually be under the door when the bee is under the door. Should I do wings at all? I definitely am going to do antenna. But should I do wings? And should I put them where they're under the door? Or should I put them down lower? Or should I put them right up here? Right at the very top by the head. I slid this under my door to make sure it actually works well. And it does. Um, so it's big enough. If really... If you want to know how I did it, uh, email me. My email that I use for the channel is down below, Maurice Crochet Hutch, um, uh, Gmail. But uh, anyway, it'll it'll be it'll be fill, finished, and then it'll have a little antenna. Uh, but I feel like it needs the wings, but also I'm not sure where to place them because again, if I put them here. They will be under the door. If I put them up here, I don't know. That might look a little weird. But if I put them down here, I feel like that's where wasp wings are, you right? Because they have the two sets. I don't know. I don't know. I'll ask my friend what he thinks, and then I'll go from there. But like I said, it's for his classroom, so I'm always up for doing a project for, for a teacher because I was a teacher for just short of 25 years um so i appreciate it um but anyway that i thought anybody who likes bees and wanted one of those cute little door stops it was not that hard to modify this and make it just do enough of these rows to make it flat because it like i said it's a flat panel there so i had to do the round stuff it flatten it out, you know, to where it's just a row, okay, and then made enough rows so it slides under a standard door and has a little extra on each side, um, and I don't know if the door stop is so it doesn't bang on the, on the wall, or if it's so it kind of holds the door in place because the door likes to swing closed, I, I'm not sure what his purpose is, maybe that'll help me know better where to put the wings or if to do the wings, anyway. I'm blathering on. Anyway, um, I may film while I'm up in uh, Oregon. I'm not sure. I'll have to see how busy I am. I know I'm going to be cooking for her, um, her, hus her, her husband and my dad. Because um, my sister moved up to Oregon where my dad had moved a few years prior to her moving up there. Um, both of them have major health benefits from moving there. They both have... Um, heart stuff. So, um, think, well, I don't know, thankfully if is the right word, but my dad's heart stuff is, um, is not quite as severe as my sister's, which is why he's only had mm, just one heart surgery. He did, I take that back. He did just have a procedure that turned into a surgery, but he's much much healthier than he was um, before my daughter's wedding. Um, and he's doing well. So now we just need to get my sister on well. Uh, I'm super grateful that this is not, I mean, I, I'm very conscious and I get my heart checked, but, um, you know, your family history matters a lot as far as that stuff goes. But thankfully, um, I seem, it seems to be okay. Um, the cardiologist had, like, ran every single possible test um, you can do on the heart um, without it being invasive because there was one more test that they were talking about doing and my sister said that one like her arm hurt because they go through your arm and then up into your heart um, her arm hurt when they did that one for quite a while but anyway thankfully so far so good for me um, my sister's having a big surgery and then I'll be up in Oregon. Um, this will air probably when I'm in Oregon. Um, that's probably when I'll set it up. But thanks for watching. And again, um, Shannon from Another Yarn, thank you. 
uh, for the adorable bird that my granddaughter is 100% stealing. And thank you, Lori the Armchair Chef, for mixing it up and then having the chicken swap. It's so fun. Uh, thanks for stopping by, and I'll talk to you all later. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe. See you next time.